Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna look at the custom Futaba FX10 that I've built. Um, put a little bit of that blockhead inspired um, flair on it. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy it. We'll run through exactly what we've done. And we'll take a look at another um, box art version FX10 that I had on the channel a long time ago. Um, and we'll see what the differences are. So hopefully you enjoy this one today. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, your support is very much appreciated. Um, so let's get on with today's video. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I've had a little bit about a month off um, putting content on YouTube. I've done a few shorts videos and I've sort of kept you all updated with this build um, in the community section. I've had a lot of good feedback about this one. It's come together really, really, really nicely. Um, a little bit of a backstory um, about this one. But before we get into that, I just want to say thanks for everyone for sticking around and subscribing to the channel. Um, you would notice that I've just picked up the Egress Black Special. Um, I've done a shorts video on that one on the channel. And while I haven't been producing some content, I've still been um, acquiring some new things. So we've gotten ourselves, um, just a, a little overview, we've got ourselves obviously the Black Special. Um, I picked up a Futaba FX10 brand new in box as well. And we've gotten ourselves com something completely different. Um, a Kyosho boat. So as you can see, I've got lots of other stuff too, but we'll, we'll eventually get that on the channel as well. So back to today's video. Um, a while back, I restored um, the Futaba FX10 back to full, um, what I would say, box art. Um, and I've always really, really liked this buggy, and it's definitely something quirky. Um, and it was definitely not a, a stunner at all, um, but there's something about it that always, um, every time I'd look at the shelf behind me, it was definitely something that, that drew my attention. So I'd always been wanting to do a custom one. There's lots of CRP upgrades that you can get for these, and I have been searching for probably close to two years since I did that car, I believe, to try and find another one. So someone on my Facebook um, page contacted me, said they had some FX10 parts. Now they actually had a uh, this particular car, which I've stripped and obviously gone custom. Um, got some custom decals from MCI Racing, and we've got the CRP front end, CRP bumper, um, and that sort of addresses sort of the weak point. Um, this aluminium part here um, stretches back and hooks back into the chassis. And I've also color coded the rear um, crash section. And I think it's come out quite nice. Um, we've used the Grasshopper 2 um, black edition wheels. They're like a gunmetal gray color. I've tied in the gunmetal with the, obviously the window surrounds and the rear wing. Um, so I think it's all come together quite nicely. And it's definitely a nice take on the FX10 and obviously adding the better front end, a nicer bumper bar, a little bit more rigidity on the chassis, and obviously oil shocks. I think it's really, really transformed this buggy into something that's probably usable and definitely holds its place in the collection. So let's take a look at the electronics that I've put in here. So as you can see there, we've just gone with a basic hobby wing style ESC, a basic um, power HD, servo and um, just very very minimal there and if you look at my original one there you will see that we've obviously kept that uh, mechanical speed controller and um, you know the original two servos but I also have that Futaba 
um, electronic speed controller in the rear, but the manual speed control setup is just for show. So I guess now that you've seen both of them, what do you think looks better? We've obviously got the custom here, which sort of brings it to sort of modern day, and I think it looks absolutely spectacular. And then we've got the original um, box art design, which I think also looks absolutely spectacular. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think looks cool. Obviously, I still love the box art. I think it look, works really good with the colorings, but I've also really, really enjoy this one. Um, obviously, with those custom decals and some of those custom upgrades as well, really, really makes it a nice RC car. And like I said before, I did pick up the new in box um, FX10 off the buyer. So as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. Um, considering its age and how rare these cars are becoming. So I guess you're all asking, what does it drive like? Um, and you know, how does, it, how does it handle? Definitely, I don't expect too much of this buggy. We will take it out for a little quick drive just outside, um, you know, the parks and whatnot. Still had a lot of rain here, very, very muddy, but I'll give it a quick little run on the driveway just so you can see it running. Um, I don't expect a lot from it, but definitely, um, I'm having some issues with the suspension. Obviously the standard um, is just the friction shocks, which I think suits the car okay because it is quite light. Um, so obviously I've, I've had to really put some light oil. I've got some, I think I've got the front of the car set up pretty good now. I've just got to turn my attention to the rear and probably put some lighter shock oil in the rear, um, just so that it's not as stiff and rigid, but I think it's definitely going to be a nice looking car. Um, definitely not going to be one of those ones that we're going to bash and jump and you know it's going to be overly fast. I've just sort of kept a to me a torque tune motor, um, standard gearing. So um, it should go all right. Um, but anyway, let's take it out and have a quick little run and I'll come back and I'll wrap the video up. Well, for what it is and the design of the car, I think it absolutely is an awesome little car to drive and um, definitely improvements over the stock car. This one is completely set up to run um, and I have run it a few times. As every car behind me here actually has electronics in it and can be pulled off the shelf and run at any stage. So I really, really like to build my car, cars that I can just take them for a light run if that's all it is. Um, so yeah, really surprised me this one. Definitely want to work on that back suspension a little bit more. 
but I cannot deny the fact that it looks awesome out there driving around and I think all the colors really, really complement each other. Um, so other than the rear suspension, I'm still waiting on the um, some replacement decals from MCI. You will notice that they misprinted them and forgot to put the FX10 on the lower um, decal there. So um, I've contacted them and apparently they're going to send me some new ones. So um, that's it for today's video. If you like today's video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. The support is very much appreciated. And as you can see earlier in the video, lots of cool things coming and plenty of other kits that um, you know will we'll slowly dribble into the channel. So um, remember to hit that subscribe button and you can catch me on one of the videos that's popping up around me now. Um, so until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.